now available in paperback and e-readers, e-steam cancel vacation. Hell's aspiring angel takes on a social justice social media mob looking to cancel her in this all-new e-steam series adventure. Get e-steam cancel vacation in paperback and e-readers today. My new book, E-Steam Cancel Vacation, is now available in paperback and Kindle format, and you definitely want to pick this one up. Now, in this action-packed E-Steam series adventure, I not only give you an action-packed African-American fantasy story, but I also make a social commentary about the cancel culture that's going on right now. Now, this story was inspired by Rod Serling, the creator of The Twilight Zone. And when your Rod Serling was alive, he oftentimes used fantasy to make commentary on the world going on around us. And in many episodes of The Twilight Zone, he oftentimes made commentary about things like racism, and he made commentary about things like beauty like he did in Eye of the Beholder, and in many of those brilliant episodes, the stories resonated so deep that people still talk about them today. Now, I believe if Rod Serling were alive today and the Twilight Zone was on the air, he would definitely be making a commentary about cancel culture, because this cancel culture is something that back in the 50s people fought against back when your Senator Joe McCarthy was trying to cancel all kinds of celebrities and other types of business people because he thought they were communist. Now, your cancel culture types, like your Senator Joe McCarthy, these people are on a witch hunt to go out here and try to destroy people who they disagree with. And what they want to do is try to get these people what they call canceled so that they cannot be a part of the social discourse and they, in some cases, are not even allowed to even live and have rights like other people. That's how far many of these cancel culture types want to go. They don't want to just sit down and go out here and discredit an individual. No, they also want to destroy an individual. And that's something I wanted to make a commentary on with this e Steam series story, because a lot of these cancel culture types, they really remind me a lot of the Pharisees and the Sadducees who were in the Bible during Jesus' time. Now, your Pharisees and your Sadducees, these were supposed to be the holy men of the time, but they were not anything holy at all, and your Jesus, the Son of God, called the Pharisees and the Sadducees out on their hypocrisy and how they were just about just doing evil. Because your Pharisees and your Sadducees, they were all about getting the favor of those corrupt politicians in Rome and getting the favor of all of the corrupt politicians in Israel. So they were not about getting and doing right by the Most High, because if they were right about doing by the Most High God, they would have seen his son, and they would have given him respect. But instead, they expressed all kinds of contempt for the Son of God, and that's what these Pharisees and Sadducees did. And again, they showed how they were all about trying to go out here and destroy people, all because they thought they were in the right. And that was one of the reasons why I wrote the story Cancel Vacation, because your cancel culture types, they want to go out here and destroy people for all because they don't like them or they disagree with them. And this type of person isn't a person of good character. No, this is a person who is a monster because this kind of person, what they want to do is destroy all discourse and they want to prevent people from being able to discuss things in an intelligent manner. And that's what your social justice warriors do today. Anybody who disagrees with them, they try to shout down, and as they try to shout those people down, they try to push their woke culture onto people. And when I really took a critical examination of what they called your woke culture, 
that's when I decided to make my commentary about these demons who hung out at this place called the Java Joint, where Easteam has hung out for many stories in the Easteam series and their efforts to try to push her out of the Java Joint and try to cancel her because she has decided to walk away from Lucifer's Legion and has decided to start following down the road to the Most High. So these demons, what they want to do is they want to destroy Easteam's uh, ability to go about frequently to places that she wants to go, all because they want to disagree with her. And then what they want to do is then further try to cancel her as the story goes along. So with this story, I really wanted to make a commentary about how cancel culture impacts people and how your cancel culture it, it just really hurts those who basically have done nothing but lived their lives and just are trying to go about moving their lives forward. Because the Esteem character in the story, she has moved past Lucifer's Legion, and now she's looking to move her life forward with the Most High. And these demons, what they want to do is go out here and try to destroy her ability to make progress, and that's, that's something that we really need to stand up against. And in the story, I make the commentary about people standing up, and it starts with the person themselves. They have to realize that the only way somebody can cancel you is with your own consent. And that is something that I've seen your Dave Chappelle go out here and do. He refuses to let others cancel him. And that's why people have gained respect for Dave Chappelle. Because he refuses to give in to the mob. And he, and he continues to stand strong. And that's something... I learned back when I was a kid, when I was being bullied, that you have to continue standing strong in the face of mobs and the face of people who want you to conform, because if you know what is right, you stand on it. And in this country, everybody is supposed to have a right to freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and the freedom to be yourself. And the great irony is, with the woke types, is... They all talk about diversity and inclusion, and they talk about people having the freedom to be themselves, but when uh, certain types of people want to go out here and be themselves, what these people try to do is try to censor them, try to shut them down, and try to prevent them from having a place at the forum, and that f makes these people hypocrites, just like the Pharisees and the Sadducees were, because what they want to do is keep that person from having a constructive discussion about their viewpoints, and they want to dictate the terms to everyone around them. When I look at your cancel culture types, they are no different than a fascist, they are no different than a Nazi, and they are some of the worst people I've seen out here, because the only opinion that they follow is their opinion, and they want to force it on you. So, when I wrote this story, I really thought about everything that Rod Serling made commentary on in the Twilight Zone because I believe we definitely need somebody to make a commentary on this cancel culture and since Rod Serling isn't around I put fingers to the keyboard and I wanted to share this story with readers especially young readers because I wrote this story so that children could understand the impact of cancel culture on another person because the way Esteem is impacted by it it really, it really devastates her. And I also wanted to make a commentary on the internet and the impact of your cancel culture because most of it is really virtual on places like Twitter and Facebook. And I wanted to make a commentary on how real people stand by the people that are in their lives. And this is a story that I really want to see more readers pick up because I really believe more people need to learn about how cancel culture really impacts people negatively and how people being silent allows the cancel culture types to continue on in their campaigns of cyber bullying, cyber stalking, and harassment and how it, people's silence allows these kind of people to go out here and promote very anti-American behaviors in a country where people are supposed to have the right to freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and the freedom to be themselves. Now, if you want to pick up E-Steam Cancel Vacation, you can find it in paperback on Amazon.com 
or you can find it on Kindle. It is going to be coming to other ebook platforms like Smashwords and Google Play. And you definitely want to pick this one up once it comes to those platforms. And you definitely want to share it with your children. So I'm asking everybody to pick up a copy of E Steam Cancel Vacation. It's a great book that makes a great commentary on cancel culture and gives people an understanding of how your cancel culture is an extremely negative thing. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.